We're back at the village of Stonington this morning. It's about quarter of five right now. We're waiting for the sun to come up. You can hear activity. This is a working harbor, so the lobstermen are getting ready to go out and get their catch. See something interesting? I reach it with my 90, I reach it with my, my, uh, I can my sensor. Oh, that's right, yep. So Mike has found himself an interesting composition, so what I'm going to do is see if I can find something to shoot with the still camera. Lobsome and are heading out to sea to check on their traps. The sun is about to rise in maybe 10-15 minutes. I tried throwing on my 70 to 200, but I'm just not feeling it this morning. So we're going to move on. We're going to head up to Blue Hill. There goes Mike. I have no idea where we are, but we just took a side road. And it ended right here at the end of this point. There's a little harbor here. And there's Ragosas. Well, I don't know where we are, but we're not lost. We just don't know where we are. Beautiful. It's not a nice enough area to take out the DSLRs, but no. Look at those slabs. good enough a cell phone. Look at those slabs. They look like they've been machine cut. They do. All of them. Get a close-up of that. Yeah, the, these are the slabs he was talking about. They do look they were cut perfectly square. What's interesting, the stone goes from this brownish granite stone to this gray colored, slate colored type of stone. I'm out. not a geologist, so I have no idea what kind of rocks they are, but it's kind of interesting how that perfect separation between the two different colored stones. Look at that. Natural stairs. Nice day to be in a boat. I think that mountain in the background is actually part of Acadia National Park. I know behind us is Scudic Point, which is part of Acadia National Park. We're going to make our way over to there after we leave here. And the end of that point on the right there, I do believe that is Scudic Point. And again, it is part of Acadia National Park. A weasel out here of all places. So we both ended up taking out the big gun cameras. We found some in interesting compositions. And even though the lighting is harsh and contrasty, they may look good in black and white. So if so, then you'll see them after this clip. Take a picture with the phone. Are you gonna do a selfie? Oh, a portrait of the car. Made it to Machias, made it to Helen's restaurant, 
So time for some lunch and time for some pie. <laughs> you got a whole tuna fish on this. Oh yeah, pie for dessert. Am I obsessed with this pie? Yes. Chocolate coconut, graham cracker, and he's got lemon meringue. So after that delicious pie, we made our way to Cutler. This is the boat launch. And this is where, if you go on a puffin trip, uh, the puffin charter boat takes off from. And the tides here are really high. And right now we're at low tide. You can see that boat has actually grounded. All right, so after this pie, he thinks he's energized enough to push that boat into the water. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> Squatty Head Lighthouse. Let's go check it out. I think this is the most easterly lighthouse in the U.S. I just saw this engraved stone, so I guess that fact I said earlier was true. Easternmost point in the U.S.A. West Quarry Head, Lubeck, Maine. That strip of land behind the flags is Grand Manan Island. So we decided, we're still at West Quarty State Park, so we decided to take a walk down this trail, one of the hiking trails. This is supposed to go down to the beach, so we're going to go check it out. Nice path, easy walking. Well, this is interesting. First time I've ever seen a tree with a beer belly. Nice ferns along the trail side. Mike liked a patch of ferns, so he decided to take a photograph of them. Really? They should look good in black and white. of cliffs over there in the background this lone tree growing on the rock I've never seen so many blue bead lilies in one spot. There's little hillsides covered with them. Quite a set of stairs here. Now we start going up. Steep spot, steep area. Nobody said would it be easy. After that, those stairs you climb, they give you a bench to take a rest on. Isn't that nice of them? Let's do some diving. Yeah. 
can get down a lot faster than get out. <laughs> yeah, that's quite a drop. There's a bench that was at the top of the stair climb, and this is what it's in front of. So you definitely wouldn't want to fall here. Yep. That's quite a plummet, a pole right here. and it wouldn't be a soft landing. So the fall would be painless. It's just when you stop that you feel. Gulliver's Hole. There's another bench. Let's go check it out. And there's the view from the bench. Quite a view. You can just see the top of the lighthouse. You can just make out the top of the lighthouse from this vantage point, just above the tree line. So what goes up must come down. Yeah, so am I. Oop. It's hard to film and walk at the same time, especially on these stairs. Yeah. And this is the end of the trail. I think. Well, now we'll have to backtrack. I don't know where that goes. Good view of Grand Manan Island from here, from this vantage point. Pretty high up. Oh, well, that's not the end. It's not the end? Nope. Trail keeps yeah. going? Stairs are over there. All right. Mm. Keep on going. So it well. wasn't a dead end after all. Boy, this is an understatement. Well, that sign wasn't lying. This sure is a high ledge. This area's got a lot of this orange lichen. Kind of interesting. Makes for an interesting walk in the woods. And we're back at the lighthouse. And the light is on. Or it's probably been on, now you can see it because it's a little darker.